I have inserted the CD into the CD-ROM as you can see here it doesn't show how much uh, memory it has occupied just open this right click open and you can see we have two audio files track 1 and track 2 having .cda extension in general what we do to copy the content of a CD to our system we just right click and uh, copy and paste to the system so when I try to play this audio file you can see this won't get played since it is copy protected it is not going to play that file for that we have to download an application called ISO Buster to crack this file from the CD so just type ISO Buster into the Google and hit this link isobuster.com here you can see download link you have to download that uh, application click here to download that application as I have already downloaded the application I'm not going to download it again once you download the application you will see this logo and uh, you have to install that application to install the application right click open click yes ok agree next 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 install and finish it will launch that application as a buster click finish just minimize the browser this app to make changes to the system click yes let it make changes to the system and it will run the application now we can see that by default this application has taken the CD drive by default and these files are listed here it's looking for the recent version of recent version available click no and uh, we have to extract these audio files from the CD so create a folder where it will extract these audio files you can name whatever you want to that folder select both the files right click extract objects if it asks to process key click not now it is looking for the destination folder as we have created a folder on the desktop named audio files I'm going to choose that folder to extract all these uh, files into that folder so select that uh, folder wherever you have created and click OK now it has begun to extract these audio files to that folder it will take a while I'll skip to the end it is about to finish the task now it has reached 100 percent so minimize this and uh, let's open the destination folder audio files here we can see uh, those two files track 1 and 2 having dot wav extension let's play this files windows window player okay you can see the difference between the track one file this one extracted and the first and initially we copied the track file if you compare you can see right click on the initially copied file track one it shows the size 44 bytes and the another one which we have extracted shows size that is 231 MB this way you can copy the files from the copy protected CD